Hello, my name is Sackett, and we are playing Journey of Sorcerer. And first things first, we're going to smelt up some of these leg bones. I guess we can use any of these bone fragments that uh, we mined up in Acacia. And we're going to smelt them into skeletal ingots. Another thing we're going to need is uh, some cloth. We're going to make padded cloth. And what we're going to do to make that is we're going to take a bed. From the bed we get a torn cloth. We're going to need to do another one because we're going to need two. And two torn cloths. And we're going to need a little bit of wool. There we go. And that'll get us three padded cloth, which ought to be enough. And we'll take our skeletal ingots. Now the other thing we craft this with is the fragments themselves and food. Because the uh, the full set stops hunger drain. That's kind of the, uh, the conceit there. So we'll make the helmet. That's nice. Make the chest plate. That's a lot more durable than the chest plate we have right now, which is almost... Almost worn out completely. Oops. Very fancy. Now, how's this stack up? This stuff is about as good as this moonstone stuff. It doesn't have the hunger drain. Now, the chest plate, we're just going to throw upstairs. <clears throat> Along with the pants and the boots. Oh, there it is. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, I put it back on. I'm doing a terrible job. I'm sure it's fine. Now there's one other fancy thing that we can make here. And let's take out the bone here. Yeah, there it is. We got oh we need another piece of string. This fancy bow. So let's uh let's go ahead and make that. The predacious bow. 14 average damage. That's, that's quite something. Let's see if I can enchant these up. Well, we did okay. We got, uh, we got Unbreaking, Magic Protection, Protection 4, that's nice. And vitality 3. We got Affinity on the bow. Uh, we got, uh, Fire Protection, Soulbound, and Unbreaking on the helmet. And then on the uh, boots, we got Fire Protection Unbreaking. So, should last us a while. And it looks pretty fancy. We'll have to, uh, kind of pile some more enchantments on there, but I think that's a pretty good new set of stuff. I love this guy. The statue and the crow. I was talking about the crow. What's up, Penny? Now we're back in Percasia, and the next thing I want to do is something super dangerous. Probably not a very good idea. But we're going to do it anyway. And if it's too much, we're going to run like the devil. Spoiler alert, we may be running like the devil. So, what we just crafted was his bone horn. It says it calls forth an ancient terror. Well, it certainly will. There it is. Oh, it's... Now, every once in a while, it's gonna... Are we gonna be able to cheat this? Every once in a while, it's gonna jump up and down on the ground. And it's gonna cause us a whole bunch of damage. Are we even hurting this thing? A little bit. Looks like it's mostly just damaging our, uh... Our armor. 
Um, I guess what it does is it jumps up and down on the ground. And anything that's within a, a certain range of it, I think it's 30 blocks, takes some damage. But we should continue to regenerate. <laughs> We're just gonna tease this. We should continue to regenerate. I wonder if I can hit him with my sword. Yes, I can. Behold the power of cheese! <laughs> this armor will keep our hunger bar from going down. I did bring some ginger ale just in case it didn't work. Take a screenshot just for fun. Ah, yes. Alright, well, this fight isn't actually going to be very interesting. So, uh, So, we'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> Soccer. Almost there. Okay, shorty. Nice. What all this stuff? I can't kind of carry it all? Yeah. Alright. Well, that was fun. Alright, back home. Didn't even need to get into the roof here. Maybe I can make a shelf. Put it on a shelf. That sounds good. Okay, just a couple of blocks. I might go do that again. A good amount of loot from it. It's that, uh, that. <laughs> Just doing it, uh, I think. All right. Nice. We also got some leather. We got a wild and horn, a uh, frozen core, a little bit of gold. We got a couple of source gems, which is pretty cool. Some more armor plating. Oh, a sharp claw. I was looking for one of those. There was something... Yeah... This bayonet rifle. That does a good amount of damage. Um, We'd need two iron, a gunpowder, a plank, and an ingot. We certainly have the gunpowder. Um, we'll get a plank. Two iron and a skeletal ingot is what I meant to say. Take it over to our infusion table here. Where did I put? Oh, I think I lost. I must have put it back here. Right? Sure. There we go. So. Oh, I need the gun frame. Of course. Do I have one? Not right on. Take a little scrap metal. I'll go right back over here. Make ourselves a gun frame. I guess I must have gotten some scrap metal from that here, too. Huh? Now, another thing we got is uh, that'll resurrect us. And then it's used up. But we can use a bunch of them and make a phoenix down. Um, we'll have to craft an angelic feather. I don't think we have fairlight essence. Oh, slime pearls we don't have. We have everything else. But anyway. <laughs> Where's our bayonet rifle? Now, can we do anything with it? With our anvil, we could enchant it. We had another upgrade kit. We could Turn it to a nether net rifle. That does a lot of damage. 18? That's pretty good. I think, uh, I think that might be our new gun. Well, that does 39 kind of damage. I, I think we're going to keep it. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's the sniper rifle. 
So maybe we'll take this with us after all. Now he also got this trophy. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. It's <laughs> got a little spinning pyrosaur on it. You got a look. Okay, one comment about the pack. I gotta figure out a way to set the uh, music off when mom that backpack's on. Music's turned all the way down right now. <laughs> Boy. Oh, snap! Yeah. I got some cover. they both just had to be playing six steps, didn't they? Mm. Here's our first good look at this skeletal common close up. <laughs> yeah, take that. <laughs> I think that's just a wooded skeleton with a very sleek hat, and possibly a backpack. Yeah, I'll take that. I think it's a wooded skeleton. I really don't. Could be a piglin? Or something else? Ugh, I don't know. I found something, so. Hey, what is this? Fire rune post. Rune shrine. What do we do with this? Do we use those runes on it? I wonder if there's anything, uh, you know what? Probably not the safest place. <laughs> Probably not the safest place to uh, do a little investigating right up on the open there. But I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put a waste down down here. Right? We got. One. Okay. Fire rune shrine. Now we're gonna figure out what we're supposed to. Oh, hello. <laughs> Then we'll figure out what we're supposed to do. So according to the, uh, what do you call it, we're supposed to be able to craft these. And that they only appear in the overworld. But we clearly saw one, um, in the nether. And I think I know where there's another one around here. So, like slab. Speed enhancer. I don't know what that's all about. What we're looking for is, uh, is a blank rune. Unpowered rune. Is that what they mean? Maybe that's what they mean. It's all here, uh, under the rune nation. Um, crafted into blank rune. Let's see. Blank rune. Well, there's the blood magic kind and there's the quark kind. I don't think that's what we're talking about here. So, we're going to go ahead and make some of these unpowered ones. And uh, see if we can figure out how this works. Let's just uh, run off to another here. I really don't mind spending a level to uh, figure this out. So let's see. Eight runation. I need eight runation to be able to work this. So, what we want to do is get to the one I found in the overworld and kind of ignore. Okay, here we are. Let's, uh, wind shrine? I guess? Wind rune post. So let's see. Okay. I got 25 wind... Okay, so it transformed them all. And leveled me up to two and stop. So I guess you can do a bunch of these at a time. <laughs> and it doesn't seem like there's a penalty for doing a bunch at once. But let's, uh, you know, interest science. 
Let's go ahead and craft a whole bunch of them here. See what happens. Yeah, that's that's moving us right up. So I'll make a bunch more of these, and uh, then we'll be back. Okay, now we've been getting these already. I see. They're they're the, exactly the same things we get from fishing, and we've probably got some of the more advanced ones too. So that's that's all good to know. Why don't we fish? Alright, we're back in the Nether. By our fire room shrine. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of these too. Get the orientation up there. Not bad. Okay, so the basics apparently. Um, let's take some fire. And let's take some wind. And all my sticks are out here. Downside of having the storage doors out there. Um, not really that. Okay, so we got a fire staff here. Question number one. Can we enchant it? Yes, we can. With soulbound. Probably unbreaking, I would bet. Doesn't do a lot of damage, it only does five. Can we craft it in anything? Okay, so these are the Oh reduces cost of stays by one rune per level. First agreed. Increases rune cost of stays. Intervention. Prevents the user from losing the item in their inventory from dying. Okay. We could put the active? Soulbound, I know. Mending, we know. Now we could do Unbreaking. And nature's Mend. So, I imagine it does have durability. Let's, uh, let's run across the bridge here. See how it is. See a mob on the mini map. Ah, I see a bunch of them. Zombies and all kinds of fun guys out here. It's the overworld at night. So there's our spider, right? <laughs> so it does the damage, but it also sets them on fire. Which is pretty funny. <laughs> here it comes. See if we can. Uh, you fucker. <laughs> Whoop, that's the wrong. Yeah, how do you like that? A little knockback. Hit you again. Now we can see it's using the, uh, there's a little cooldown on it, and it's using up the room. So, <laughs> it's still pretty cool. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of them in the mod. I'm sure this is just one of the most basic. But I uh, gotta say, not bad. So I'm looking at uh, you know, what kind of things we have here. There's clearly some higher level stuff. Um, like, look at that. <laughs> That's serious. And also, well, fire room just kind of is what it is. But, oh, there's infusion rack. So we can make a craggy slab, whatever uh, whatever that is. Maybe that's some kind of summon? I'm not sure. So we're going to try one more of the, uh, the ones we have access to. This one's supposed to... Supposed to do a lightning strike. Maybe you didn't like it because it was flying? I don't know. Sure, we have some more, some more hostiles. Oh, we have a creeper. Seems like it does thing. Maybe I don't have the uh, the right level to use it yet. 
Alright, we're just gonna stick these up here for now. We'll try that again once maybe we get up to 20 the nation. So, boy, this armor looks pretty good. Yeah, check me out. Okay, so that, that's gonna be all for this time. We learned a lot. Took out a dinosaur the cheesy way. Explored new mechanics. Got plenty more to do with this uh, Advent of Ascension mod and in the past. So thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.